in today's video guys i'm going to show you how we can fix stutter or fps drops here in fortnite chapter 4 since the release of the chapter a ton of people are still complaining that their game is literally freezing or unplayable so therefore i'm going to show you the best methods how we can counter this and if this video is helpful please don't forget to subscribe guys and by the way at 70k subscribers i'm giving away a sk61 so therefore make sure that you're subscribed guys i know a ton of people are watching and they're not subscribed it's literally one click and now it's gets rid of this topic so guys and for today's video i already prepared here for you now a fix fps drops chapter 4 pack guys which you can by the way get your hands onto it from my discord guys in the fps boost packs channel just simply join onto discord.gg slash those stripes like right now you're on screen then you're gonna go to the search bar type in the fps and then you can already find your fps boost packs and there i'm going to upload it guys once you get it here from the discord just let me make sure to actually put both of these files here onto your desktop real quick you know extract them and then we in the first place have check this 64 bit and snappy driver both by the way free to use tools guys so therefore yeah don't be worried there you can just simply open this one up and drag everything here out onto your desktop so guys and once we get the xc now on our desktop we're gonna click onto it and the program already started then we can see here our main hard drive guys which is for me here right now my two terabyte m.2 ssd on which i have mostly windows fortnite all that stuff and check this as the name already says is going to basically scan for your whole entire disk making sure that there are no issues corrupted files or something which could somehow cause issues when it comes down to performance so therefore make sure that your local disk C is selected because that's where you most likely have Fortnite installed and your windows and all that stuff guys. And then we have your option type of test. We have standard, through and check if dirty. What we're going to do is leave it just simply on standard guys. Then you can see now my whole entire hard drive is going to get scanned. And we already have right now here 288 records and now you can see check this is finished okay some of the stuff has been fixed they did like tests with how responsive it is how fast actually the hard drive itself is working so therefore after this scan i can now be sure that my hard drive is not causing any issues you know some corrupted files or anything which could somehow cause game crashes so therefore what i'm going to do is click onto exit and we're already done here with this first step and next up guys we're going to click onto snappy drivers and this one we're going to open here with the main exit sdi once the tool itself is now already launched guys you can see now this welcome screen and will ask you download all driver packs or download only network driver packs and what we're going to do is go here for this last option this allows you to scan your pc to see which drivers need to be installed so we're going to click onto it guys and then afterwards guys we can see now click here to select updates and there we have all the updates guys which we can do basically on our pc where we have somehow outdated or interrupted drivers anything which can be replaced by this tool here automatically it's only going to take a few seconds and you can already see guys i got for my bluetooth update a bunch of updates actually for a ton of controllers on my motherboard which can also be super beneficial you know sometimes those are also outdated which causes like issues on your pc my realtek net gaming uh, family controller which is basically for my LAN connection then we have here something like my steel series apex pro mini is actually outdated yeah like the drivers which i got on my pc my audio drivers are outdated my rtx 3070 ti there's like a missing driver as well here for nvidia dc8 i don't even know what that one means that's probably also like a controller for nvidia processes then here my wi-fi everything is basically outdated guys or this program is also going to see if there's like a more stable version guys so it doesn't have to mean always that everything is outdated you know especially if you just did like a windows update and you're wondering yo why does it show me that everything can be replaced it can also be that this tool is just simply going to look for more stable version it will show you exactly which operating system you're running your motherboard which for me is right now your z719 gaming x and yeah it basically collects all the data from your pc what you want to do is click on to select all and just simply go through the installation guys it's going to take maybe a while you can see here for me it's almost four gigs of basically like updated drivers which i can install here on my pc but afterwards you can be sure that everything is up to date or on the best possible version yeah as mentioned it's also going to replace some if there's like a version which is a better match yeah you can basically select it here newer not installed or better match better match is automatically selected and i would 100 recommend this because those are like stress test ones where you know already okay this is going to work 100% just simply let it run until everything is downloaded guys and it's going to automatically install everything for you on your pc and then afterwards we're already done with this step as well as extra tip which i want to give you guys is that you actually have to open up your nvidia control panel settings and go on the left side under manage 3d settings once we're now in here guys we can see basically all the options which we can change straight up on our gpu but what we actually want to do guys is scroll all the way down here until we can find shader cache size guys and i've read under tons of comments guys that this one actually set to 10 gigs is going to 
to fix your game crashing on any PC, guys, basically, yeah? Also works for even, like, other games besides Fortnite, guys, but putting this one actually to 10 gigs is, like, kind of, like, the sweet spot you have to put it on. So, therefore, I already have it here all now selected on 10 gigs. If you want to, you can also make sure to copy all of the rest of my NVIDIA control panel settings. I'm just gonna go through it here real quick, guys. Basically, everything is set for the best performance, guys, and least amount of input delay that we have high performance and the quality. And just simply make sure that you copy all of these here step by step real quick, guys. And my low latency mode is as well set to ultra guys tons of fortnite pros are discussing okay what is actually better having this on ultra on or off but i gotta say especially here for me guys on ultra it works the best way and with that said you're already done here you copied everything so make sure to apply it and then we're already done here with this step as well if this video was helpful guys please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so you so much and also don't forget to check out the latest two videos here right now on screen guys which will also help you to improve your performance and find the best stretch res in fortnite